Grand rising, beautiful beings of darkness and light. It is I, Kempress the Empress, alchemist, mother, lover, daughter, healer, teacher, speaker, more righteous, more righteous, more righteous seer. Today we're out in the garden and I wanted to talk to you all about bugs in the garden. Right now, this is the heat of summer. We're dealing with this heat uh, and it's not even as hot as it's gonna get this summer, okay? Um, but one of the things that you're going to have to deal with, hey, Karanda, how you doing, love? How you doing? Um, one of the things that you're going to have to deal with in your garden, especially if you're going to garden in the summer in South Florida, this is anywhere because y'all guess what? Bugs live everywhere. Bugs live everywhere. And right now, um, I know you guys have seen the butterflies flying. The butterflies are flying and they are laying their eggs that are gonna become little worms, that become little caterpillars, that become other butterflies, right? But they need something to eat on. Ideally, whatever you've got going on in the garden and they will burrow into your stuff and kill everything. So I came on here, this is gonna be a quick, quick video. I just wanna show you guys what I am using because today, look at this, it's a beautiful, wonderful, overcast sky, which means there's no um, there's no sun beating down on the plant today uh, because typically I have to get up early, early in the morning or come out late, late, late in the evening after the sun has come uh, gone down in order to spray my plants for the bugs because um, if you spray during full sun, it can burn the leaves. So today I wanna show you guys what I am using in the garden to help to combat not only the caterpillars, but also the white flies. White flies will tear your shit up. I did have white flies infesting my peppers and there's something else infesting and I had a fungus on my tomatoes, but the fungus was my own fault because I was overwatering. Tomatoes don't like to be wet on their leaves. Do not overwater your tomatoes. Make sure you do uh, a watering down on the um, towards the, the 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 ground. And if any water splashes up, if there are any fungus spores in on the ground, they can splash up and steal. So yeah, you gotta be careful. However, there are some things. There are some natural products that you can use to help to protect your plant. This being one of them. You guys have heard me talk about it. This is my first time. This is not product placement. They're not paying me for this. I'm telling you about this because I actually use it. This is called Triple Action Neem Oil. This is sold in the, um, the nursery section of Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, wherever they sell the plant stuff. They sell this stuff too. Triple Action Neem Oil. You use one fourth of a teaspoon per gallon of water. So I say, shameless plug for Arizona, but yes, I recycle, y'all know I recycle. Um, I fill this jug up with water and I put one fourth teaspoon of neem oil in here. And you see it turns a little cloudy white right there. And then I put it in my little spray bottle Yes, I have been, I, that, that, that gallon almost empty because I've been fighting out here. This is white fly season, don't get it twisted. So I put it in my little spray bottle and I shake it, shake it, shake it up. Make sure you keep it shaking as you're spraying the plant. Shh, 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 shh. Shake, shake, shake to make sure that that neem oil, cause you know oil and water don't mix, but they'll mingle a little bit for a little while. So um, spray this, I wanna show you guys, I have something burrowing into my tomato plant. Let me go over here and see if I can find it. I saw it yesterday and I was like, oh, what is that? Now I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things that are going on with my tomato plant. And part of it is my own doing. I did it to myself um, because number one, I didn't space these plants properly. When you are planting your garden, do not plant for the space that you have. Plant for the garden that you intend to have. When I planted these tomato plants right here, they were this small. So I planted them and there was a whole lot of room left in this garden. I didn't think about when they got so big and I need to be able to reach them, I need to be able to touch them. You And, and you need aeration. You need aeration in between or you're gonna wind up with some fungus on your um, tomato. Now, somebody showed me one of their plant tomato plants today. Y'all see that right there? 
that is called a miner, a leaf miner. And it's mining inside of my leaf. It's inside my leaf, eating all the good, good, good stuff off of there. So I'm gonna spray for that too. Y'all see that right there? That's another problem. That can be an indication of some type of fungus or something like that. With that being said, I'm gonna show you my other product that I use. I do the triple action neem oil is a broad spectrum fungicide and insecticide and miticide. So neem will get rid of fungus, insects, and mites. If you can't find the neem, then find this. Organicide, it's a three-in-one garden spade. Insecticide, fungicide, miticide. These two things do the same thing. The wonderful thing about them is that they're both organic. They're both organic. So you can spray this all the way up until the day of harvest. Just make sure you wash your stuff off real good if you're gonna eat it, but you can spray it all the way up to the day of harvest. But if you wanna get rid of those aphids, white flies, fungus gnats, and all of that other stuff that's on your plants, and if you're gardening during the summer, you gonna have some issues with some bugs, okay? So let me show you what you gotta do when you come up in here and you spray, all right? I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Now over here, I don't know if y'all can see that. Look, y'all see them holes in my, in my tomato plant right there. That's two burrowed holes. Something has burrowed itself right into my tomato plant. And it's eating. What it's doing, it's in there sucking out all the good, good nutrients that I've been feeding the plants. So because it's an overcast sky today, I can go ahead and spray these and not worry about burning the leaves. Now, how do you spray? Let's drop it down low, drop it down low, drop it down low. We're gonna get up under the leaf because if you can see up, oh, here we go, right there. Y'all see that? Those are white fly eggs. So yes, white flies been coming at my tomato plants. And what you're gonna do is get up under that leaf. Up under that leaf, let me see. Focus, focus. Come on camera, focus. Get under that leaf. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can't hardly see that. Get under the leaf and you're gonna spray. When I sprayed, you see, you saw all of that white, all of that white stuff is like that that fungus that begins to develop that like mold almost around those those um the the eggs that they lay because the white fly lays its eggs up under your leaf so if you're spraying your plants and you're you're just spraying the top of the leaf like that you're not getting the problem areas up under the leaf where the bugs are actually laying their eggs so I go, I drop it down low, get low, get low, get low, and get in there and spray. Now I'm not going to touch these leaves while I'm spraying them because if there is a fungus on there, I don't want to spread the fungus by touching it. But I'll show y'all with my peppers, what I do with my peppers when I spray them. And oh, look at all this green coming back in here because see, they were lacking um, nitrogen and I gave them some nitrogen rich food so you can see all that green color coming back in there. So what I would do with my peppers is I would take my hand, y'all let me, let me sit, situate this so y'all can see, can y'all see? I come from the bottom, lift the leaves up. As I'm spraying, oop, y'all can't see that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, come up like that. I would lift the leaves up so to make sure I'm getting the underside of the leaf. And see, y'all see that right there? White flies. White flies on my pepper. So I'm going to spray away, spray away. Spray away, spray away with the neem. And because today isn't, sorry about that. <laughs> Because today is an overcast sky, which means the sun is not gonna beat down on these plants after I spray them and burn their leaves, I'm going to go ahead 
and I'm, I'm going to hit the underside of every single leaf on the tomatoes, the peppers, the basil, everything over here. Probably not the, um, <laughs> the pumpkin. You look up under, oh, yep. I'm going to give the pumpkin a nice little spray too because guess what? The white flies like to hang up under there too. So, so that I can use, um, better use both hands, I'm going to sign off now because as y'all see already, I got stuff burrowing into my tomato plant, sucking up all the nutrients taken away from my fruit being produced. So I'm going to go ahead and combat these bugs. Last chance for y'all to see. If you guys want to know what to use to save your plants during this summer, hot bug 